Welcome back. I hope you're well and I hope you're relaxing and whiling away some wonderful hours with us, just dreaming of faraway holidays. Well, this next little adventure should serve up some real food for thought. It's a chance to see Japan in depth and see many wonders of its natural beauty all in one tour and cruise trip. From the most enchanting sights and sounds of the spring blooms coming into their own, the jaw-dropping magic of the Japanese macaques up at Jigo Kodani Park, the legendary snow monkeys bathing in the hot springs, to the elusive and incredible Mount Fuji with its commanding views and amazing lakes. It's springtime in Japan. You'll have time to explore in Tokyo, time to savour a fascinating cruise with Princess following the blossoming season across Japan and South Korea, truly a journey to remember forever. It starts on the 11th of March next year for 16 nights and starts with the wonderful anticipation as you board your flight off from the UK to Tokyo in Japan. Now you'll be met with a warm welcome at the capital's airport to begin a relaxing, fully escorted four night tour before we cruise. Now the tour has so many highlights and here to bring them to life is our very own tour guide Mark. Welcome to tantalizing Tokyo where traditional meets the ultra modern from breathtaking historic temples to spectacular neon lit skyscrapers. Upon your arrival you'll be greeted at the airport and transferred to your hotel with the first two days at your own leisure. Be sure to explore the top sights of Japan's capital, starting with a ride to the observation deck of the Tokyo Tower, where you can take in impressive views of the city and the mountains you'll come to explore in the following days. Visit one of Japan's oldest temples, Narita-san, which is dedicated to the Buddhist god of fire. Before you leave, be sure to leave a wish on the prayer wall. Experience one of the busiest pedestrian crossings in the world at Shibuya before enjoying a spot of shopping in nearby Ginza. And for fans of anime, manga, gaming or just bright lights, check out Akihabaru, Electric Town. It really lights up after dark. On day three, the adventure continues as you'll travel to Mount Fuji's magnificent fifth station. Located some 2,300 meters above sea level, it offers a breathtaking vantage point for Mount Fuji and the surrounding lakes. It's then on to the glorious Lake Ashi in Hakone National Park. Here you'll get the chance to take in the spectacular scenery as you take a cruise across the lake, overlooked by surrounding mountains, including Mount Fuji and Mount Komagatake. That evening, you'll stay overnight in the region and enjoy a delicious Japanese dinner. And finally, on day four, after breakfast, you'll visit Heiz Dera, one of the main Buddhist temples in Japan, which is famous for housing a massive wooden statue of Kanon, the goddess of mercy. And if that was it, you'd be very happy, wouldn't you? You come home having really, really immersed yourself into some wonderful, wonderful places as well. But there is even more to come because next we are getting on board our cruise ship and it's the Diamond Princess and we're joining her in Yokohama which is the port for Tokyo. We've got 10 nights on board and she's probably one of the best known of the Princess fleet. You probably know lots about Diamond Princess already. She has a spectacular atrium which is kind of like the beating heart of the ship uh, where everything goes on, where the best people watching is. Uh, where all of the different levels are and you can see all of the bars and the restaurants and talking of restaurants you can see some of them right now some of the most uh, gorgeous gorgeous speciality dining there is at sea really um, Sterling Steakhouse is always very very popular indeed but when you're main dining I mean look at the caliber of the dining when you're main dining as well that's that's going to feel just as special um, You've got lots and lots of restaurants which are included. In fact, there are one, two, three, three, four main dining rooms for you to choose from as well, which I think is really nice. Plus this spectacular smattering of different speciality dining, casual dining, you know, light dining as well. I think some people think of cruise holidays all being about, you know, sort of indulging and overindulging food wise lots of uh, healthy options here as well which is very very nice entertainment of course is a big part of a cruise as is relaxing uh, maybe getting a few steps in along the way enjoying the wonderful japanese bath maybe which sounds lovely for this part of the world as well when in japan etc etc uh, very very nice it's a lovely getaway 
of a holiday, this one, I think. It's a true kind of escape. It's something which you can take at a very, very nice and easy pace. I mean, this itinerary, I'm gonna be honest with you, is all about exploring Japan. So actually it's really, really nice after a, you know, a busy day exploring, you might have done some shore excursions during the day of just coming back to something that's nice and relaxed, that's, yeah, that you're ready to put your head down at the end of the day in a comfortable bed in a wonderful stateroom, enjoy some fantastic food, not have to lift a finger for the whole cruise. Remember, of course, that's the other great thing about cruising is everything is taken care of. You can just make the most of exploring and enjoying all of the wonders that this itinerary has. You've just had, remember, your fabulous tour, which has taken in quite a lot, actually, over the preceding sort of four days, which is really good. So your 10 nights on the cruise are your chance to really kind of chill out. You've got your first day at sea, which I think is really nice out of Tokyo. And then we are heading west to Kyushu Island into Beppu. And Beppu Park is one of the best places here to catch the spring blossoms. And it's, we think of cherry blossoms traditionally, but there's azaleas, wisteria, rhododendrons, and you know, everything in this part of the world, which is wonderful. We head south then to Miyazaki on Kyushu and you head to the Mochio Koen here which is a two kilometer tunnel of cherry trees which just has to be seen. Lots of lovely shrines here as well as you can see. Next we cruise to Kagoshima. Now uh, here we, we should be approaching full bloom on a wide range of plants at this time of the year as well because this spring is just one of the real magical highlight times to be in Japan. So it's perfect timing as well. Nagasaki is next. Tatiyama Park here lies on the terraced hills overlooking the city itself and has amazing views. But look at all of these fabulous um, temples. It's what Japan is truly known for. So lots of different adventures. Now the same kind of spring blooms can be enjoyed, you know, just across in South Korea as well, Busan. So springtime colour here is just going to be everywhere. That temple at the top just looks idyllic, doesn't it? Next we head to Sasebo. So you head to one of the big theme parks here. It's called Hoist Ten Bosch. You see it there on the top um, picture there, which looks fascinating. And you'll see the tulips should be out in full bloom at this time of the year as well. Very, very different indeed. And then we port back into Yokohama, which is the port for Tokyo. Not before we've been to Toba, of course. Toba, where you can go to the Mikimoto Pearl Island here or visit one of the aquariums. And then we port back into Yokohama which is the port for Tokyo, and fly back to the UK. Honestly, your adventure here is incredible, I think. You're talking about 16 nights, and it's almost like you're cramming six months worth of travel into just over two weeks. So you'll come back, I think, completely different. You'll have a, a wonderful view of this part of the world. Could be a bit of a life changer this holiday as well, actually, because there is so much included as part of it as well. So to talk about what's included in the price, including, you know, in, in terms of the nuts and bolts of it. So the price I'm gonna give you is the flight from the UK out to Tokyo in Japan. It's a long flight. Uh, you've got four nights there. Uh, escorted tour, of course, plenty of time to explore the city, uh, see Mount Fuji, of course, uh, the snow monkeys and so much more before your Diamond Princess cruise around Japan to places that you're completely unfamiliar with, right? So it's gonna be great to discover them. Beautifully timed as well to maximize things like this as well, the start of the cherry blossom season, the spring blossoms of the azaleas and the wisteria, just coming to life into their own in springtime in Japan. Plus, of course, you've got your flight back to the UK from Tokyo at the end of the cruise. Oh my word, you are going to love this. I'm so glad for you that this is something you can put in the diary right now, have plenty of time to anticipate it, to research maybe the places you're going to as well. There's plenty of research online as well. Very, very easy to do. And there is your price tag for the whole escorted tour and the cruise experience as well. Um, it is amazing. Now, talking of the cruise, let's just focus in on that for a second. Let's look first at upgrades while you're on board the cruise, because you might well want to upgrade to uh, you know, ocean view, up to balcony, or indeed for a suite there. It's a very, very special cruise. You're on board the Diamond Princess as well, which is uh, one of the most trusted and probably best known 
of all of the Princess fleet as well. Don't forget you've got that fully escorted tour as well. And, and that is literally meeting you at the airport when you arrive in Tokyo, right the way through to arriving at the cruise port. So you really are taken care of from one end to the other um, on that part of the experience. And you are seeing so much. Rather than, sometimes I think when you go to a city, I mean, we could, we could put you in, in Tokyo and we could say, here's you know three nights in a hotel there. And you kind of have to curate your own itinerary. With an escorted tour, you get to see so much and all the arrangements are made, all the buying of the tickets and everything else. Because remember, we're in Japan here and, you know, to, to put it politely, Japan is very Japanese. You know, if you're unfamiliar with being in Japan, it takes a bit of getting used to. Our cameraman, Richard, we talk about all the time, takes a couple of, you know, trips out for three or four weeks a year out to Japan. And it's taken him a few years to, to get around the, OK, here's how we do things. And, you know, you build that experience over time, don't you, as you travel. Now, also talking about the cruise, remember, you might want to add Princess Plus to your cruise as well. If you want to make it all inclusive, for just £50 per person per day, that would cover for you um, a brilliant drinks package, which is drinks up to, I think it's $15 um, per drink, which is really good. It covers your tips, which is wonderful for, you know, the, the whole duration. It's uh, also unlimited Wi-Fi for a device. It's also other things which are really, really good, like the new casual dining restaurants. You know, restaurants that normally you pay an extra little cover charge for casual dining, they'd be included in your Princess Plus. Ocean Now Delivery, you know where you wear the little medallion coin and, and you can have food and drinks sent to wherever you are on the ship? That's included if you go Princess Plus. And also room service comes as complimentary rather than having a cover charge if you order something to the room. So Princess Plus is well worth that £50 per person per day. Um, it's really great value. As you can see here, you get $140 worth of value for just £50 uh, a day. So you're making massive savings there and it's well worth doing. Um, on this, it's nine nights, isn't it? Nine of the 16 nights, I think, is it, on this one, um, are the cruise 10. So it's well worth doing that, Princess Plus, in terms of the budgeting for it as well. Well, it's a dream experience. I mean, an absolute dream experience. And everyone right now is heading to Japan. It is one of the biggest kind of hot spots. And, and actually, this time of the year, springtime, is one of the most expensive times to go. But I think actually we've created the experience and the cruise together so beautifully at a perfect time as well to see those cherry blossoms just starting to emerge. Uh, and then you've got, of course, the wisteria trees, there's uh, azaleas and, and many other spring blooms which just paint Japan in this wonderful colour. Because, of course, they have these amazing, you know, mountainous um, landscapes, fabulous temples everywhere. Add spring bloom to that. And this is a magical, magical opportunity. Listen, any questions you've got whatsoever, just call the team 0800 953 4700. You can call us, remember, all day, pretty much every day, including on a Sunday as well. So any questions, then speak to our team right now. And please make sure that you stay right where you are because we have so much more on the way, all magical experiences from us here at Cruise First. See you later. Thank you.